fans, of course, we get emotionally invested to these football games. I mean, we're cheering for our favorite teams, our favorite players, and we're hoping that they have success. Um, but as players, it's a lot different because these players are actually right there in the thick of things. They're the ones on the field. They're the ones that practice all week, got to go over the game plan and whatnot with the coaches and the teammates as well. And they're the ones that have to execute when they're in the heat of the moment. Um, and today was just one of those games where it didn't work out uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and Twitter, social media just in general, has given a lot of people a voice. But at the same time, it's also given a lot of people a voice. Um, and it's given you access to be able to talk to, reach out to, maybe celebrities, people that you may never be able to speak to in real life. You may not even run into them. But at the same time, it's given you access to be able to reach out and speak to celebrities and people that you would probably never meet in real life and you would never talk to them. And it was no different today because there was a fan uh, who called out Lamar on his game. He said, when someone is asking for over 250 mil guaranteed, like Lamar Jackson, games like this should not come to Justin Tucker. Let Lamar walk and spend that money on a well-rounded team. See, I feel for football players, man, because literally their entire jobs are put on Front Street 24-7. No, their, their, their pay is put on front street Their performance is put on front street Because it's all public It's all public People literally watch you at your job Literally every single day Every single day They analyze you They criticize you They do all this stuff and all that um, And hey, you did get into this job This position, this career So, I mean, the good comes with the bad Which I get Just like with any position or career um, but it's tough because these football players, while this is their profession, they are still human. So they have emotions. They have feelings. And if somebody's talking about this, not about just the player, but about the player, about the player's money, you just came off of a tough loss. You may feel like you want to respond. And that's exactly what Lamar Jackson did. And I'll read you the team. Keep it clean version. He said, boy, shut up. Y'all be capping too much on this app, and y'all never even smelt a football field and never did anything. So Lamar responded to him, and again, that's the team keep it clean version, heavily edited. Um, so he, he, he sometimes just got to respond. But at the same time, it's so tough, and I feel for him because once it's on the internet, even if Lamar deletes it, it's, it's on there forever. But... Stuff like this is going to be used against him. And it is tough to take the high road. It is so tough. Oh, it's tough. Because if somebody start talking about you recklessly, you want to respond. And especially if they talking about you and they are not in the position that you in or that you they saying something that you just know is dead wrong. You want to respond so bad. But with all the public your, 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 your career being on public display Oh that's tough That's tough to not respond But you just know that This what Lamar put They gonna use it against him Now I was already that I was already somebody that doesn't feel like The Ravens are gonna sign Lamar long term That was not because of this game It wasn't because of last game But I felt like this for a long time Simply because I do not feel like They are invested in him Nor do they want to invest in him By the way that they've moved Over the course of his professional career But People may think that something like this is little But the team they will look for any and every single possible advantage that they can try to take over you, especially when it comes to them contract talks. Or they can use stuff like this and try to use it as PR to be like, hey, see, this is one of the reasons right here. Because they'll say something like, oh, he's not mature. That's not a franchise quarterback. That's not what we want our franchise quarterback to be doing. And it is such a tough road to walk on for Lamar. Because it's, it's tough because, again, you don't just want people talking reckless. But at the same time, you got to do this, that, and a third to really keep you cool. Because stuff like that is, is going to be used against you in a bad way. And, I mean, it, it is, it's definitely not the best look in the world. It's definitely not a good look, in my opinion. Because it's like, 
again, you 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 as the professional, you you gotta ignore stuff like that. But then you as the human, you're like, oh, it's driving you crazy because you, you don't like people talking reckless to you or about you. So I trust me, I know it's a struggle, and I ain't perfect. I, I'm sure I, I, my response would have been like that, but ooh, it's so tough. But he's got to be extremely careful with how he moves, even with something like that. Because the media already already has how they feel about Lamar Jackson. They already want him to fail. They want him to do bad. They do not want him to succeed whatsoever. I know some people even feel like the Ravens don't want him to succeed. But anyway, the media, they do not want him to succeed. But Lamar, you, you, you do not want to ever give them any ammo. You don't want to give them any juice. You don't want to give them anything to where they be like, oh. That's exactly what we're talking about.